creators, if you are under 4,000 watch hours and you keep searching for ways to gain more watch time so you can monetize your channel a lot faster, then make sure you stay till the very end while I go over the three things you need to do on your very next video. So make sure you're taking notes to increase your average view duration and your watch time. We're also gonna be looking at YouTube's newest tool that I will share with you live so you can see it in action on how to get more views and watch time in 2021. Hello, we are doing this live, you guys. Let me know if you can hear me. I am so excited to be doing this. We are testing something new out. If you are watching on the replay, let me know in the comments below where you're watching from and what niche you are in. If you've never seen me before, my name is Tiffany Day, and this is Navigating YouTube, where I help influencers like you build your audience, influence, and income on YouTube. So I'm so excited to be doing this with you guys today. So again, this is live, but I'm going to leave it up like a real video, and it is so important because if you don't know, YouTube likes two things. YouTube wants you to get people to the platform and to keep people watching, which is why average view duration and click through rate are so important, you guys. And of course, average view duration will equal more watch time on YouTube. So let's dive into tip number one, and that is to go ahead and have a killer hook. Now, I know a lot of people will say have a killer hook or make sure you're doing your hook or whatever it is, but they never tell you what to say in your hook. So I'm not like those other tip channels. I'm going to actually tell you what to say with live examples in your hook. So if you don't know what a hook is, it is the first 15 seconds of your video. And you really want to hook your viewers in because at that time, a viewer can decide at any point if they are going to leave your video. So you definitely don't want them to do that. You want them to go ahead and watch your video all the way through. So really hook them in by doing one or two things. So the first one is what I like to call the um, keyword heavy one or the keyword research. So basically you say your keyword at the very start, right? So it's your keyword hurt. So in this one, I talked about um, gaining 4,000 watch hours, making sure we're increasing our watch time. And I told you all of that. And I didn't just tell you that because I'm telling you what I'm going to be talking about in our video today. I also said that because the YouTube algorithm picks up on what we say in our videos. So by me saying, if you're under 4,000 watch hours and I'm targeting 4,000 watch hours, the algorithm now is going to transcribe my video, understand that I'm trying to target watch hours, heard me say watch hours, and I'm gonna be able to rank, uh, rank my videos higher um, in the YouTube search. So if you guys aren't doing that, that's definitely a hook that you can do. So the next hook is going to be what I like to call the cliffhanger. So if you don't know what it is, it's basically when you're watching a movie um, or a TV show, whatever it is, right? And then there's a part that right before commercial cuts off and you're like, what happens next? That's basically what you're going to do for your hook. So this is a lot of the time what people will do in um, vlogs where they kind of cut a couple of clips together, maybe like five, um, three second clips together. And they're kind of just showing you what's going to be happening throughout their video. So the reason why they're doing this is because they're getting you interested in what's going to happen. And now you have the sense of FOMO because they've cut it off right before they show the really good stuff. And they are definitely going to keep you watching because now you have to get to that point, see what's going to happen, and then you're not going to leave because they've showed you a couple of different clips. So you can definitely do it to where you're only showing like one clip, but as soon as that person gets to there, they see the results or what happened at that cliffhanger moment, they're more likely going to leave. So by you showing multiple clips, maybe something in the beginning, something in the middle, and then something at the end, you've now kept that person on your video longer, which has definitely increased your average view duration and your watch time. So let me know in the comments, do you do the cliffhanger or do you do the keyword research? Are you saying your keywords or are you doing the cliffhanger when it comes to the hooks? Hello, you guys, hello, okay, so. And that was tip number one. This is so weird doing this live because I've made so many mistakes already and I can't cut or edit, so this feels weird, but it's so much fun to see you guys here. Cliffhanger, yes, I love the cliffhanger when I do my vlogs. Um, if you guys don't know, I do have a second vlog channel, but normally in navigating YouTube videos for tips, I do the keyword. Um, it just kind of 
flows a little bit better. Keyword, Brendan does the keyword research as well. So I'm glad you guys are already doing that. So that means we can move on to tip number two. And I know you're probably like, okay, I've already heard these before. She better be getting something good. And I promise you guys, we are getting to the good stuff. And don't go anywhere because I'm showing you that tool that just came out that YouTube just released. And it's going to be done here live. So you can see the power of it. Um, like, I don't think anyone's done this before. So I like to do what no one's done <laughs> before. Um, now, we know that the hook is the most important part right that's the first 15 seconds of your video but at any point in time if you lose your audience's attention they can fall off they can click off they can go to another video they can just walk out of the room right so you need to make sure that you are keeping their attention the entire time so what better way to do that than the talk show hack so have you ever watched a talk show? Um, I grew up watching Maury and all of that stuff. Jerry Springer, you know, that's how old I am. Um, but when you're watching them, they say, don't go anywhere. Because right after these breaks, we're going to see if so-and-so is the father. And you're like, oh, I was going to switch it and go to another TV show. Or, you know, you always have that last button, right? But now you don't want to do that because you don't want to miss who the father is. Or you don't want to miss that diet trick all the celebrities are using without going to the gym. So they have re-hooked you on. So now you're going to sit through the ads and wait for commercial until I come back. And I can tell you, this definitely works because I remember being 12. My dad was doing physical therapy. I was in like the waiting room waiting for him. I was watching like Good Morning America. And they had this commercial um, break segment. But before they go to commercial, they would tell you a quiz. And they wouldn't tell you the answer until you come back, right? And my dad was done before I ever got the answer to that quiz. And I like it just ate myself up and that back then we didn't have like YouTube be like what's the answer so you definitely want to make sure that you're creating that talk show moment where you're like hey don't go anywhere or like I said I know you've probably heard these tips before but don't go anywhere I promise we're getting to the good stuff okay if you're doing vlogs people normally don't want to see your Starbucks order right but if you tell them what's about to happen okay we're gonna go see this cool thing that's gonna happen but first Let's go get some coffee, right? You're prepping them. You're getting them excited. And they're like, okay, this is going to be a small segment of the video. And then we're going to get to the good stuff, okay? So always have that talk show moment. A couple of other things you can do is add visual elements or pop-ups. If you guys don't know, this is a visual element pop-up. So something that appears on your screen. Of course, if I was doing this as a um, edited video, you would probably see some cuts. I always zoom in or zoom out. You want to do pattern interrupts, things like that really keep your viewers attention. But a lot of the times the things that we say will keep their attention even more. So you want to make sure you're scripting your videos with hooks and re-engagement. This way you can get people watching again. All right. So how do you guys feel about that? I hear knowledge. Oh, thank you. Cliffhangers, keywords. Do you guys re-engage with your audience? Let me know in the chat. Hello, Melissa. Hey, hey. All right, you guys. We're getting to that good part. This is the good one. And if I did rehook you, give this video a thumbs up because I know someone was about to leave as soon as I said we we're just going to talk about a hook, right? The first 15 seconds of the hook. Okay, so next thing we're going to talk about is the new YouTube premieres, the YouTube premieres 2.0 with the live redirects. You guys, I was playing around with this and I will be honest, I was never really a fan of YouTube premieres. When it first came out in 2018, it was glitchy. It actually hurt your videos sometimes more than it helped your videos. There was so much going on about it. Um, I was afraid to use it. I used it once and then like my video bombed and I was like never using it again. But YouTube really does care about the creators as much as we think they don't. You just have to do what the YouTube algorithm wants them to do, right? Keep people watching, get people to platform, get people to share your stuff so more people watch, things like that. But the new redirect helps your watch time tremendously because you're not just getting your audience to watch one video, you are keeping your viewers through two videos now. And you can also do a redirect premiere. So this way, if you have a premiere, you can do a trailer first. So instead of just seeing the thumbnail like you guys saw on this when I planned out my live stream, you're actually going to see a trailer. Now you have to put this together. Um, but same thing, just do little clips, get people excited about what your video is going to be about. They're going to be more likely to click that reminder button. This way, when you go live or you show your premiere, they're going to come back to that video and they're going to watch that premiere with you. Another 
another good thing too is you're able to talk to your viewers in the chat. So if I was doing this like a regular Q&A or chit chat or whatever, it does not have to be like I'm doing right now, right? You don't have to turn it into a video. You could do this super casual. You basically keep people here. Everyone is here, right? Everyone is in the chat with you. And then you just take everybody to the next video. And the good part about it is you never have to leave the chat. YouTube will automatically redirect everything for you. So I absolutely love it. And like I said, don't go anywhere when we end because I'm going to show you how it actually works so you guys can see the increased watch time. And I want you guys to try it on your next video. And if you do it, tag me on social media so I can be there in your chats with you because I want to see you guys do it. So let's go ahead and recap because I have about three minutes before my premiere starts and I don't want to miss it. So make sure in the first 15 seconds you are hooking people in. So either do the keyword hook where you're saying your keyword. So for example, if I was doing a morning routine, I can say welcome to my productive mommy morning routine, whatever it is. Or you can do the cliffhanger. So show people little segments of your video to get them excited to want to watch more. Okay. And then you can do the talk show hack. So you're re-engaging that person into your video because you know at some point people are going to click off your video. And I actually talk about audience retention in this video right here. So make sure if you guys missed that, you can kind of see how to read your audience retention graph. This way you can re-engage your viewers back in, okay? And then last, you wanna make sure you're using your YouTube 2.0 redirect. This way you can get people to watch not one, but two videos. So let me know if you guys are ready to see how the redirects work. Say let's go in the chat, but don't actually go anywhere, guys, because you know it's, it's just gonna pop up right here and I don't need anybody leaving, or this test isn't going to work. <laughs> if you are watching this, on the replay, you can go ahead and just click this video right here. It'll pop up for you. This way you can see how to actually set up your live redirects along with your premiere trailers and your premiere to premiere redirects, all right? Okay, guys, thank you so much. Hey, don't go anywhere, okay? We have, we're starting in like two minutes. Let's go ahead and redirect this right now.